You've probably seen the hype already, but is this really the future of content creation? So when I'm making videos outside, I normally need to take with me my main video camera, which is this A7S III I'm filming on now with a lens for it. I also take a drone, uh, tripods, a second video camera, which is usually a Sony A7R IV, again with a lens for that. So very quickly, it all adds up in weight. I'm normally using that second camera as a B camera so I can get behind the scenes footage if I'm trying to demonstrate something in a tutorial. And this year, one of the things I really want to do is make more videos outside and I want to try and get down that amount of weight that I'm carrying around especially if I'm hiking through forest or up a mountain or something when I'm making content. So I just bought this with my own money this is not a sponsored video and I really think that this is going to make my life so much easier this year. If this is the first time we're meeting hi I'm Jason and this channel is all about making better looking better sounding and better edited video. If that's something that's interesting to you please subscribe I'd really appreciate it. So this is the Osmo Pocket 3 creator combo you can also get the standard combo I'd highly recommend you go for this one if you can spend that little bit of extra money mainly because you get the DJI mic 2 which is a wireless mic and I'll show you that in action in just a couple of seconds you also get a few other goodies in here that you don't get in the standard combo and so let's get this thing open and it's not the size of the knife it's what you do with it I feel a bit inadequate in terms of YouTube unboxing knife size today so nothing too fancy with this packaging by the looks of it Looks like DJI are recommending something called the Light Cut video editing app, which I've not actually heard of yet, so that's kind of interesting. And <laughs> straight away, you've got that new unboxing smell. I kind of wonder if they inject that fresh new gear smell into things, so when you open it, you get that smell, or whether it's just the chemicals leaching off the plastic packaging. Who knows? Looks like the carrying case. So this is the Osmo Pocket 3 protector cover and it's got little spots in here for the wide angle lens and also black Pro Mist filters so you can keep those in there. And it says that the Osmo Pocket 3 protective cover is suitable for daily storage. Bit of silica gel as usual. Right here's the main package and this is one of the things that you get in the creator combo is this carry case. Take a look at this, see what we've got inside here. Here's the main occasion or the main event, the Pocket 3 itself. Can't believe how small that is. This is the size of my hand and the gimbal's just sticking up a tiny bit above that. What else we got in here? Got the DJI Mic 2 transmitter. Yeah, it's quite different. I'm using the DJI Mic version 1 here to record the audio for this video. And this is the first time I've actually seen the DJI Mic 2 transmitter. The receiver's not actually out yet, so it's kind of interesting that they've bundled this with the Osmo Pocket 3. I can only assume that the whole DJI Mic 2 package is gonna come out soon, which is kind of interesting. All right, what else we've got in here? This looks like the extra battery handle. This is just a little extension handle to make the unit a bit longer to hold it more easily. There's not actually a battery or anything in here, I don't believe. It does have the mounting point on the bottom there if you want to mount it to a tripod or something else. Going. This is the little tabletop tripod. I suppose you could use it on ground as well. It's kind of nice to have. Anything else in here? Got USB-C cable. Got a little hand strap and a little windsock or little baby dead cat if you want to call it that and this goes on top of the DJI mic transmitter so it can help cut down on wind noise if you're recording outside. There's something else. This is the wide angle adapter. Careful not to get my grubby hands all over it. Oh, one more thing. This is the magnet for the DJI mic to transmitter. This just goes on here. So you can attach it to a t-shirt like I've got on the DJI Mic 1 here. It's just got a magnet behind that holding it on. Okay, that is it. So it's a pretty nice case, kind of standard DJI material. Got a little DJI logo there. And the zip's not too bad. Got a little hand strap there. I suppose that could be a belt loop strap as well. So a nice little case. If you just want to carry your whole setup around in one little case, this is pretty handy actually. So which of these things come as part of the standard kit and which of these things come only in the creator combo? So obviously the standard kit, you're going to get the pocket through itself. But things that are unique to the creator combo are this case, this extra battery handle. So this is going to provide you with extra power so you can use the Osmo Pocket 3 for longer. 
the DJI Mic 2 transmitter and this windshield, that's also part of the Creator Combo, not in the standard kit. Wide angle lens, that's also not part of the standard combo kit. This little tripod attachment, this also comes with just the combo kit, not the standard kit. And you also get this bag in the Creator Combo Kit, not in the standard combo kit. So I think when you consider the extra stuff that you're getting, particularly this DJI wireless mic, that's really gonna help get the most out of this thing when you're filming yourself especially. I think it's really worth the extra money if you can afford it to go for the Creator Combo Kit. Links are in this video's description. The actual Osmo Pocket 3 itself feels pretty solid in the hand. I'll put the weights on screen now just so you can get an idea of how much this thing actually weighs. It feels pretty nice in the hand actually. It has a nice kind of weight feeling to it if that makes any sense. We've got hard plastic all the way around and if I just take this off got the touch screen which also rotates got a little joystick which is also a button that you can press down I've got the record button looks like when you press the record button it automatically gets the gimbal turned on and ready to record so that's a really nice feature if that's actually going to start recording just from one touch without having to do anything else got the SD card slot there USB-C port on the bottom guessing these holes are for the internal microphone. So yeah, it's plastic, but it feels pretty solid. Got the Pocket 3 text there, and also the DJI logo there. Feels kind of nice and weighty in the hand without being too heavy. I'm gonna just attach the extra extension on. It says, when mounting, insert the handle into the Osmo Pocket 3 without holding the release button. All right, so I won't hold the release button. These two clips clip in place, and that kind of feels a little bit better for someone with bigger hands like me, but I don't think it's actually essential. The only thing it does give you, which is different, is this mount here. So if you want to mount it to other accessories or maybe even to a tripod, you're going to have to attach this grip extension. Press that down, unlock that, because you can see at the bottom here it's just USB-C. There's no mounting point there. You've got the USB-C port at the front now when you've got this extension attached. Just gonna take this off and attach the battery extension, which contains some extra battery power. So there's a battery inside here, and this is an extended battery, so you can use it for longer. And we will attach this. Light comes on, telling us battery power there. Interestingly, it says that it's charging, so I'm guessing this kind of provides a charge. And on the bottom of here, like on this just basic extension, got a mounting point and the USB-C port also comes out of the front now. So obviously adding that extra battery handle extension increases the weight a bit. It's kind of starting to feel a little bit too weighty now. I wouldn't say too weighty, but it certainly feels a lot chunkier now. But obviously still lighter than a mirrorless camera with a lens and all that kind of stuff. Let's go and attach this tripod. So we're gonna attach this to the bottom here. It's just a screw on, there's no kind of extra locking mechanism or anything. Yeah, pretty good. We've got DJI logos on each leg of the tripod. Just tap the screen, it's telling us that the battery handle is 47% power, or battery charge, and the top bit, which must be the, the Osmo Pocket 3 unit itself, is 62% charge. Right, let's take a look at the DJI Mic 2 transmitter. So just like the version 1 transmitter that I'm wearing now, you've got this kind of crocodile clip. So you can clip that onto a t-shirt or something, and you've also got this magnet option. Unfortunately, they seem to have added logos to both sides of this magnet. So if you're wearing it on the outside of your clothing, you're going to have this DJI logo, which I don't particularly like, if I'm honest. Got this wind shield, and this slots into this hole here. That's actually a much nicer way of attaching this wind shield dead cat. The DJI Mic 1 does come with these windshields, but you kind of have to kind of get them in and twist them a bit, which can be a bit fiddly. This is a lot easier. So this is the wide angle adapter that comes with the Create Combo. Thicker than I thought it would be. And is this just magnetic? Yeah, nice. This is 0.75 magnification. I'm guessing it's strong enough. When we're done with this, we can store it in the case by the looks of it. Oh, nice. I thought these side bits were kind of grips for it, but it's actually held in place magnetically in the case, which I really like. It's just little tiny design things like that, which make life a bit easier, especially if you're out in the field trying to use this thing, fumbling around with little filters. Getting those little tiny ND filters on can be a real pain and also where you store them. That is a really thoughtful way of doing it. I'm gonna turn this off, just holding the power button. There we go. Gimbal folds up, 
back into place. I'm gonna detach this battery and we're gonna go and put this in the case. It's this way around because you wanna actually protect the gimbal. Nice. So you can see that the bottom of this handle does actually extend past the bottom of this carry case. The gimbal itself is tucked up quite nicely inside there, though it's not completely protected all the way around. Obviously, if you've got this in a pocket with keys and other stuff, it's gonna be pretty easy for keys or something to get jammed down the side there. So it would have been nice if this was somehow had a, a lid on that you could close or something like that. I'm sure there'll be third party solutions coming out, but at least you've got this case that you can store it in. So if you use the hard case in conjunction with this carry bag it's really well protected there i've got the gimbal pointing towards the center of the bag so any hard knocks on the side here or the top is going to be protected by the bag and also the hard case so yeah that's pretty good there is also the dji mimo app that you can use to connect to this and control that i'm going to go into full in-depth tutorial on that in a future video so make sure you subscribe all right i'm going to get this thing set up and then I'm gonna to switch to it. We're gonna have a little walk around the studio to see it in action for the first time. All right, so this is the first video I'm recording with the Pocket 3. The only thing I've changed in this is changing it to 24p frame rate and 4K. And I've also updated the firmware on the DJI Mic 2. So I'm not using the internal microphone for the Osmo Pocket 3. So I'm just going to walk around this studio and you can see that there's varying levels of brightness in this studio. I keep looking at the screen, apologies, but I'm just checking everything's okay. And I've not changed any of the settings for the DJI Mic 2 either. So it'll be really interesting to see if these audio levels are set too high or not. This is really raw and basic test what you can expect. I'm also not using any kind of face tracking at the minute. So you can see as I move around the frame, it's not tracking me. So I'm gonna go and turn on face tracking and see how that feels. It's telling me that it's detected and now face tracker's enabled. So if I stand still, I'm gonna hold my hand still. And as I move my face around, the gimbal's moving to track me. So as I'm walking around now, I'm not manually changing the joystick and I'm kind of like going all over the place and doing a pretty good job of keeping my face in the frame. So who is this Osmo Pocket 3 aimed at? Well, I think it's gonna be huge with both new creators wanting to get their first camera and also existing creators to use as a secondary camera to make their lives easier. That's basically the use case that I've got it for. There's quite a few situations when this is gonna make my life so much easier. I think the mistake a lot of people think is that this is just a vlogging camera, but I think it's gonna be so much more than that. And I've got some really fun videos coming soon, so make sure you subscribe if you wanna see more Osmo Pocket 3 action. So who's this Osmo Pocket 3 not for? Well, I think if you want lens choice, effectively an interchangeable lens camera or even a camera with a built-in zoom lens, this is obviously not for you because it has a fixed 20 millimeter equivalent field of view, but you can get that wide angle adapter, which I think changes it to about 15 millimeter wide angle view. But obviously you don't have the lens choice that you do with something like a mirrorless camera. It's also not for someone that wants to have that creative control when it comes to aperture, because this has a fixed aperture of f 2.0. And a really important thing to mention is this is definitely not for someone that wants to use this in in hospitable conditions this is not waterproof or weatherproof and you're probably not going to want to use this where it's really sandy or really dusty because it's not actually weather sealed and you can imagine a bit of sand or dust or something getting in the gimbal mechanism it's probably not going to turn out very well so basically if you're looking for an action camera this is not the camera for you what are my first impressions of this camera well I'm actually pretty impressed with it. It's got the one inch sensor, which is gonna be very interesting. And I'm really excited to check out what the image quality is gonna be this when I get it into DaVinci Resolve in just a minute. So I'm really excited at the possibilities this camera is gonna give me and how easy it's gonna make my life for so many different types of videos that I always have to carry all of that heavy gear around with. Don't forget to subscribe. I've got loads more Osmo Pocket 3 videos coming soon, including full tutorials and also how to get the very best out of this thing. I'm Jason Roberts. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.